what's good Grey Gang? Today's video, it's not exactly on the trap line. I've done check the trap line today, we didn't get any catches, so don't get too excited about that kind of stuff. But we are gonna do a little bit of fishing. And I'll just let you know, like yesterday the pond was froze over, so today should be a pretty interesting day. Okay, so we're gonna be getting the baits today out of the MTV Pro Box for December. And hit the like button if you like my Christmas sweater. I mean, you know. It's a little fishy, but I like it. But anyways, let's go ahead and crack into this mystery tackle box. Now let's open the real box. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, I've not yet seen what's in the box, so this is gonna be a total surprise to me. Boys, I'll just let you know, like, <laughs> we're packed. First thing I see is some little, uh, I don't know what weight these are, but little, um, uh, little swim bait heads right there. Probably most likely to go along with these swim baits here. Which are these Macora little four inch, you know, little swim bait shad imitators right there. Really good, because a lot of times, especially in December, it's really cold. A lot of the weak shad are starting to die off, and this right here imitates them perfectly. And then another really good shad imitator is this right here. Now this is Ketchco brand, which, you know, basically Mystery Tackle Box made it. This is a blade bait, but it's actually got a blade bait with a spinnerbait blade on the back. That's gonna be really, really, really interesting to use here in a little bit. And I know for a fact these right here, these can burn them up all through the winter, especially in January. And then right here we got some of these young Christy Crawls. You could put these on a jig or just Texas rig them, you know, just like they are. Just crawl them really, really, really slow and boom. There you go. Next up in here, it looks like we got another little like fluke thing, but we've actually got a scrounger head on here. Now what the scrounger head does is it's sort of like a chatterbait head, except, you know, it's not a chatterbait, you can put like swim baits on it. But if you don't know already the action that a scrounger head gives off, just imagine this as a chatterbait. It just, it really goes crazy. And believe it or not guys, we're still not done. We still got a few more baits. Here we have, uh, what is this? This is a Strike Pro, something like that, but it's basically a little suspending swim bait i guess yeah that's what it is but yeah just a little half ounce you know suspending swim bait and now we're coming on down here last thing in the box we have a weston scavenger or something like that it says a baby bite doctor but this here is just like basically a medium diving crankbait and it says low floating which i imagine means that it floats up really slow which is really good especially in the winter time and then besides all the tackle we have this right here which is the dibble digest shows you everything you need to know about these to use them and a few stickers down there in the bottom but as of right now, I'm actually going to try to take those baits out to a pond, you know, like the one I said is sort of froze over. But just in case, I'm actually going to, you know, use some footage from this weekend, which I'm actually heading out to the lake. So in this fishing video, we're going to be one, fishing in a pond, and two, also in a lake. But like I just said a second ago, right now, we're going to head off to a pond. Okay, guys, so now we're here at this pond. Like I said, like yesterday, half the pond was frozen, but now it's all, you know, soft water or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, here's what we're using today. I'm going to be using this just, uh, what do you call it? A glider 105 by Strike Pro, it says. Basically, it's a suspending swim bait. I'm just going to throw it around and, you know, glide it around and hopefully a big one will come up and smash it. You know, that's the plan at least. It's always the plan. I will say one thing right now. I cannot feel my fingers because they're numb. This is definitely the coldest I've fished in. But this weekend, you know, I'm going to try to go to the lake, which should be, you know, even colder. However, fishing lakes in the winter generally bite better than fishing ponds in the winter. So even if we can't catch any fish here in this pond, we should be able to get on a few at the lake anyhow. But all I'm doing for this little swim bait is I'm just throwing it out, making a good, you know, as long of a cast as I can. And then I just barely even reel it at all. Just barely going to reel it down, basically like a crankbait, except I'm going to be extra slow and, you know, just reel it as slow as it can. And all that's doing is it's just waving back and forth and you know just clacking as it goes along just like i was saying earlier a lot of the shad now are dying which there's not any shad in this pond but especially in the lakes all the shad are starting to die off the weak ones so there's a bunch of them out there just barely even barely moving at all just like that you know barely alive and that right there that's when the big ones come up and go boom and then you know eat the shad i will say one thing if i was a fish i'd eat this thing i'm about to eat it right now i mean not gonna lie i'm fairly decently hungry right now so nothing like a good old backlash early in the morning even though it's three o'clock in the day okay i officially cannot feel my hands anymore and i've got like six backlashes in a row because i can't feel the spool to stop it so i'm uh well yeah guys i'm gonna go inside probably eat me a corn dog most likely and uh yeah i'll see y'all at the lake okay guys we are out here we are on the lake now it is fairly you know decently windy today so i don't know how 
great of a day it's going to be. However, there is one fact, okay? I am going to try to catch a bass. Try is the key word. Now, in this month's mystery tackle box, there was a few baits that were like really, really, like really good for lakes and not as awesome for ponds. One of those being a blade bait. Now, a blade bait is like a metal, um, uh, what do you call it, rattle trap. So you throw it in, it sinks fairly fast. It's a half ounce. Then you pull it up and it just vibrates and then falls right down. And then vibrates and it falls back down. It's really for whenever bass are like holding to the bottom really tight. And like, it's really good for winter months whenever all the shad are starting to die off. Because it imitates a dying shad absolutely perfectly, you know? It's like whenever a dog eats a hot dog. It's perfect. Sort of. But I do feel like we have a pretty good chance to catch a fish today. Now, will we catch a fish? Like I've said this already, I don't know. I'm not a professional fisherman, even though I may act like it sometimes. But still, we're going to try to get it done, and I'm actually going to make a deal with y'all, okay? Either one, I'm going to catch a fish, or two, if I don't catch a fish, I will jump into the lake, okay? Okay, that was a lie. I'm not going to jump in the lake, mainly because I don't want to die today. So according to the fish finder, the temperature is 50 degrees, which is perfect condition to die from hypothermia. Not exactly my cup of tea, if you know what I mean. But I mean, the water temperature is 50 degrees, which shouldn't be too bad. I mean, honestly, the fish should be doing good. And even if the largemouth aren't biting amazingly, I have a feeling that maybe the smallmouth will anyhow. But anyways, guys, let's stop wasting time here, and let's just get on down and start fishing. Okay, and so this right here is what I was talking about, this little blade bait right here basically you know all i'm gonna do is find some kind of hard bottom which is rocks and stuff like that but not necessarily like just straight up mud or grass or something like that so here we got some rocks i'm just gonna make short casts right now just because i feel like the smallmouth may be up shallow today because it's sunny and stuff but throw it up you know just make really small little hops let it fall back down hop it again real small let it fall back down then just, you know, keep doing that. Just let it pull it up. Sometimes you'll, they'll want it, you know, like big old pulls, like two and three feet. Other times they may just want like six, four inches, something like that, real small. You just got to play around with it and, you know, just like I said, play around with it and see what they like. Well, guys, long story short, I mean... I didn't get a bite today, but the video's not over, okay? However, right now, I do want to let you know about my promo code with Mystery Tackle Box. It's ha it's not hashtag Grey Gang. It's just plain Grey Gang, like this right here. It's the promo code. It'll get your first box for $5 instead of $15. So, you know, if you'd want that, the link is in the description, and, you know, use this promo code to get that off. But like I said, the video's not over. I'm going to head back to the house, and we're getting ready to do something pretty great. Okay, guys, so anyways, we did catch a fish, but like I said, the video is not over. I got a little bit of mail here that, you know, came in quite a, you know, I don't know, but we're gonna open them, okay? Now, I did say that there would be a mail time coming soon, and that's still gonna happen, okay? We're still gonna have a gigantic mail time coming soon. It may even be next video, I'm not sure, but hey, we got so much mail that we have enough that we can open them right now. So anyway, let's start off with this one right here. This one is from Mosley. That's all it says, and that's all I can read because, you know, it's all it says. But anyways, here we go. Okay, first thing I see, boom, a squirrel tail. But that's not all because it's definitely hit. Oh, it's another squirrel tail. But that's not all because it's still heavy, and I can see that, boom, another squirrel tail. But that's not all because, boom, another squirrel. I'm just kidding, guys. This is a bracelet. Though. But that's not all because there is finally the heaviest thing, which I felt, and it is 22 bullets right here. Now, these are 22 Thunderbolt from Remington, and I believe we got, what, 50 or 100 or something like that. Yeah, we got 50 bullets right here, and, uh, well, yeah, people. But don't worry, guys. We will put these through a gun barrel and possibly through an animal. And that package there was actually from Luke Mosley. This next one here is going to be from Ethan Hadley. Oh, oh. Right here, we got a nice duct tape wallet with some added green essence up here. And a bobber. Now we have this one from here. This one's from Mason Maisley. And I what? The... Did we just open that? Nope, that last one was from Mosley. This one is Macy. A little bit different, but not much if you ask me. But before I open this, I'll just tell you, like, I'm in a basement, and there's a fire out there, so I probably don't need that big coat anymore, do I? Yeah, let's take that off. But anyways, let's get back in on it. First thing I see, well, I mean, there is some fur popping out, so we're gonna say, oh, boo, a squirrel tail. 
Smells like a squirrel. Can you believe it? But besides that squirrel tail, we've actually got a pack of looks like four inch finesse worms here. And um, I'm gonna make a wild guess. Not wild, because I actually know. But these are watermelon red. And also in here we have, boom, another squirrel tail. We're getting a lot of squirrel tails. We've only opened three packages and we've done got five squirrel tails. So hey, that is a good sign for Lucky, okay? You're coming good, Lucky. Oh my gosh, what in the world? <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm about, oh my, oh my gosh, I'm about. <laughs> oh my gosh, I about died. But anyways, boom, there's another squirrel tail. And underneath that squirrel tail is a cricket. Woo! That was a good one right there. Now this next one right here, it is from Wolford. Hey, let me tell you, it is thick. Um, uh, okay, never mind. This is actually some business stuff, not even for mail time. We'll just put this over here to the side. But anyways, here we got this next one. This one is from, I'm not really sure, but it rattled. Oh boy, and it's even wrapped in Christmas paper. And this package here is actually from Ashton, okay? But here we go. Boom! No way! Oh! Wow! Look at this, okay? Ucky doesn't play games, but like, it's a buck, so, you know, Bucky don't play games. Hashtag Grey Gang! My boy. And inside here, let's check it out here, he gave us a little bait pack with some stuff inside. Yeah, it's actually got, oh wow, that is a small frog. That is honestly probably the smallest frog I have ever seen in my life. But I mean, yeah, check out that frog. Okay guys, so like, that's all the mail I'm gonna open right now. I've actually, you know, like I said, a scheduled mail time, possibly Wednesday, I mean Thursday, but you know, it'll be coming pretty soon. Now what I wanna let y'all know about is, you know on kindlegray1.com slash shop, well, you know, the whole month of December, all the merch, whether it be a Bucky shirt like this and I got on right now, a KG, you know, if you did get a pop socket in time, the pop socket. A percentage of the proceeds from everything on the site is actually going to Toys for Tots, you know? Like, I mean, I've said this, I think, in two videos. I really hadn't talked about it much, but I just want to, you know, let y'all know that. Because everything that's bought in December, a percentage of that, you know, what you bought is going to Toys for Tots. So don't worry about that. We helping peeps. We helping out our boys. But anyways, people, I just want to let you know, just because we've started trapping and everything, and trapping's getting pretty lit right now, the hunt for Bucky, the hunt for Bucky, it's not over, guys. We're still out there hunting for some deer. We want some venison. But don't worry, people, we gonna get it done. But anyways, if I have anything else to say, it would say this video is sponsored by kindlegray1.com slash shop. So if you would like a t-shirt, go pick one up right now. See you later. If you're not part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, Favorite Squad, post it up, down low. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgray1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.